What's your ideology? Centrist. Centrist? Yeah. So, you got some interesting tags for a centrist. Well, I, I also have tags of fascism and Nazism. I yeah. talk with both radicals. Yeah, I'm, I'm an NCAP. Anarcho-communism. Anarcho-capitalist, yeah. Anarcho-capitalist. Uh, anarcho-capitalist. I mean, it's kind of non-coherent as anarcho-communism or communism or Nazism, I don't know. Yeah, you're the enlightened centrist. You see problems in everyone. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, what about anarchism? I mean, what do you want to do? Create an anarcho-capitalist society? I just want freedom of association, you know? I mean, it would not happen, for real. I mean, because... Well, we we it, have some examples, uh, some imperfect examples, you know, not pure, complete, but uh, a lot of uh, the principles have been tested in some societies, like Gaelic Ireland, Icelandic Free State. They had market-based uh, judicature, and it worked just like, uh, just the way theorists, economical, you know, theorists predicted would it. it yeah, and sometimes... Well, about anarcho capitalism is kind of the thing is when you topple the government, you still have some kind of uh, strong actor or strong agent, and he's gonna be a government. For example, if this are Icelandic free state, it means there will be merchants or someone else. They will be in power. It's not anarchy. It's it's a bit different. They they had a system of competing uh, law providers, uh, they call them chieftains, and basically their uh, power was purely reputation-based. Their influence was based on uh, reputation, yeah, the will of the people. And how long did it last? For about uh, 400 years, I think. Maybe, yeah, I don't remember. I think it was about a couple like this hundred years. During the, so there was this war during the Vikings? Yes, they. Th th this is the system that uh, Vikings have. So these are just tribal community of colonialists. I mean, these are just tribal communities. Uh, I mean, you yeah, can they call don't... them that, but the, the outcomes weren't some sort of tyranny or uh, monopolies or uh, some anything like that. Eco econ they may have lived in a time of worse technology, but economically. The outcomes are what we predict. But there are different examples. Maybe, you know, there are some stateless uh, capitalist societies that had no formal legal mechanisms, like Repub Republic of Kospaya, Kovlun Walled City. There was the time that uh, a bunch of ships got uh, stranded in the middle of uh, a war, and they basically put all the ships together and... Uh, spent, uh, I don't know, a couple years or decades as a sovereign nation and they lived fine, you know. I, okay. I think it's uh, it's not impossible. In I mean, may, I, may I ask you a question? Where are you from? Croatia. Croatia. Uh, Hrvatska. Yes, Hrvatska. Yeah. I know one song from, not from Hrvatska, but, but from Serbia. Like, oh, it starts like Od Bihaća, do Pitrovca sela, do Pitrovca sela. What do you know that? I don't know. I just know that. I just learned the lyrics. Karadžiću, vodi Serbe svoje, vodi Serbe svoje. But your accent is... On fleek, it's amazing. You, I, I, if you... I mean, I speak, I speak Russian mostly. That's why. Oh yeah, that's that's probably. Yeah. That, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, I have kind of a Slavic accent. Nice. Yeah. I am uh, so like, I I want to like ask you a question. What do you think about human rights? Human rights. Yeah. I know that you pass post Yugoslavia don't didn't appreciate the uh, appreciate the human rights so well in nineties. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was kind of a mess back then. Uh, I think it's. I think human rights are good, but I, I would probably differ in the way that I would enforce those rights in in with the most of the people who would say that they are advocates for human rights. When other people oh. say, go on. What do you feel like? Is our human rights is just like a conception, oh. or is it just a paper? Um, it it depends. Uh, like, you can you can ask um, what is what is a uh, an I don't know. You could ask a a, a, physici a physicist or a chemist or a you know biologist or a social scientist uh, what is x what is an apple what is a computer and they would give you uh, 10 different answers so when you speak of human rights i think we can look at it uh, on a consequentialist basis in terms of how we can maximize human well-being through the systems we have and we can look at it from deontological standpoint saying that it is some ethereal concept that exists out there in the universe to be uh wrapped or something we can and learn and understand objectively. I don't know if there is some objective morality to dictate what human rights should be, but I'm open to learning about it. What do you think? I mean, I don't believe in human rights for most of the part. I think it's just a paper, that's all, for users of government. Hmm. I mean, like, human rights is kind of strange conception. Like, it's not real, you can't see that, it's not like given by some higher power like God, because maybe God does do this, for example. Mm. So, like, it's kind of strange. I mean, also, like, I think that Christ belongs to the one who are strong, that's all. You think Christ I mean, belongs to those who are strong? Yeah, I mean, if you're fucking Genghis Khan, or... <laughs> Or, uh, I don't know, Napoleon, yeah, you have right to do whatever you want. Because, I mean, you, you can do that. <laughs> You're able to do that. So, yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's one of the ways, of, yeah, that's one of the discrepancies of language. That's a, we can use words in different ways. Like You could say human rights are what you are able to do, what conditions you're able to create for for you or someone else to be, to have ability to do something. I mean, like, rights in Russian is called, translated as prava, and it's the same thing, like human rights and just rights to be able to do something, it's the same thing, mm. so. Yeah, I can, I can see how that uh, linguistic difference could yeah, shape, so, shape views of people. I mean, I'm kind of cratocratic in some way. Uh, what? Uh, Creatocratic, or how's it called? Oh, uh, like when you think that like might, like uh, might makes right. Mm. Yeah. So you don't have uh, like a, I don't know. What would you? What's your then uh, view on uh, oppression and things like that? Do you operation? think that they are oppression? Do you think it's immoral, or uh, what's your analysis of that? Uh, operation? No, oppression, suppression, tyranny, um, uh, injustice, yeah. slavery. Ah, I mean, like, objectively, we can measure the evilness or goodness, so it doesn't matter, really. Uh, I mean, suppressions can be... Well, about the suppression, tyranny, and injustice is like, Depends on the cultural differences in different nations. I mean, the yeah, oppressions for, for example, nations of Central Europe, Western Europe, is very problematic. But suppression for, for example, Eastern European countries or Asiatic countries, like it's normal. Mm. I mean, for example, here we have an autocratic uh, government in Kazakhstan. Like I live in Kazakhstan, next to Russia. And uh, we have authoritarian governments, and it was like that for thousands of years. Uh, and I just believe that it relates, it's related to ethnic groups' genetics. Like some ethnic groups are more suppressive. I mean, they're like 
not the slaves, how they call them. I mean, some are individualists, some are not. Mm-hmm. For example, for example, ethnic groups in Switzerland are individualistic. Yeah. But here are not, and in Russia too, because people are living like fucking peasants for most of the time. Uh, would you prefer to live in a less autocratic uh, society? Under mm. a less autocratic regime? I mean, I don't have anything to say about my government. I mean, yeah, they corrupt, they're very corrupted, but it was like that for many of years. I mean, if you're gonna topple the government here, then the new guys are gonna come and they're gonna be the same. The same in Russia, Eastern Europe. And it's like, it doesn't matter, really. But yeah, it can be some changes in, for example, if you're from Germany or su- such country. What's your ideal? So what would you, what's, what's an ideal society? What's, what's your favorite country that, what's your favorite system that ever existed? I would not call any system as the great, like any, every system is good at its own boundaries. I mean, like, you can, for example, take the model of one country and impose this model on other country from other continents, for example. Like, it, it might be not war, it might not work. But I mean, the basic things, free market, uh, like economic liberalism, like, it was, like, it is the future of any culture. <laughs> and, uh, probably some kind of idea in some way, you know, social market economy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It works everywhere. I, I think so. Do you have any policies you would like to see change where you live, except for fixing corruption and stuff like that? In my country? Yeah. Well, I would like to see some kind of Lee Kuan Yew who would, I don't know, kill all of the uh, corrupt, uh, corruptioners, criminals, um, probably Islamists, because, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Kamalists, you know Kamalists? Like Ataturk. Oh, can you repeat that? Uh, Camelists. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Camelists. Like, you can Google about Ataturk. Ataturk. Yeah. Like, he was a leader in the Turkey, and he made a Turkey to be a secular country. Mm-hmm. And I kind of like secularism. I don't like Islamists a lot in my country, so I like to, to see these guys to be hanged and the corruptioners. Yeah, uh, yeah such kind of guys. Okay. And maybe also some left wing, radical left people like, like socialists and communists, all of them. So you're very lenient with the death sentence, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of simple and normal here. <laughs> it, is, is it, is it, is it, does it happen a lot? Is, do people have this view that it's normal to, to kill the uh, bad guys? To kill, like, to uh, execution, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, here it's banned, we have a monetary, no, it's not banned, it says a monetary condition, like, uh, like it's strange with the rules and the laws. It's not as a ban, it can be turned on again, but now you can't kill anyone. But yeah. I'd like to see some kind of, I don't know, Pinochet or leak on you, who could do stuff. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Thanks for the the insight, man. Hey, can I can I put this on YouTube? I got a tiny channel. I got a tiny channel. Okay. Can I give you a link? Uh, yeah.
if you don't wanna, I can delete everything, you know, no problem. But yeah, if it's cool with you, I'd like to just put it up. I think it's an interesting oh. conversation. Well, that's okay. I don't care. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you.